Hey everybody, it's me, Tom Angleberger. Hey, I thought I would finally do a good job of answering the question I get a whole lot. Where did I get the idea for Origami Yoda? I just got it from a really great super folder named Super Folder Wyatt. He's been making some great stuff. And when he asked me this question, I thought, why don't I really do a good job of answering it for once? So let me take you through the whole thing. Some authors, when they get asked where they got their ideas, they don't have a good answer. And for a lot of my books, I don't have a good answer either. But for Origami Yoda, I have the exact answer. I know exactly where I got the idea. Of course, in general terms, I got the idea from Star Wars. But more specifically, I got the idea of Origami Yoda from a Yoda made out of origami. This exact Yoda made out of origami. Uh-oh, wrong button. What's going on with that business? Let's see that. Let's see that again there. There we go. This is the famous Kawahata Yoda, and I was first introduced to it in a post from the online uh, blog Boing Boing. Uh, January, I mean, I'm sorry, June 11th, 2005. Now, I'm not sure I saw it on that exact date, but that's when it was posted. It was posted, by the way, by uh, a guy named Cory Doctorow. Now, Cory Doctorow is a, an author, well, he's a lot of things, but he's also the author of a young adult novel called Little Brother. You may be aware of a book called Big Brother by George Orwell. Well, this is called Little Brother. It's got some of the same themes, very interesting uh, stuff. Cory Doctorow, really interesting guy. I enjoy reading him on the internet because he's interested in a lot of the same things that I am. By the way, I met him in person and I was able to thank him for introducing me to the concept of Origami Yoda. Okay, so let's show you what exactly he showed me on that day. What he showed me was a picture that he had taken from some origami illustrations that he had found online. And um, he actually had this link to a downloadable PDF with step-by-step -step instructions. Now, this link is uh, 15 years old and it doesn't work anymore. But this is what it would have showed you if you had followed that link way back then. It would have showed you this mess. Well, it's not a mess if you know what you're doing. That is some serious business. That is some very difficult uh, origami instructions. Way, way, way over my head. Uh, they were created by a guy named Fumiyaki Kawahata. Uh, of course, we call uh, the Kawahata Yada after him. He is the guy that made it. He is the inventor of it, the designer of it, and he is an amazing origami master. Uh, it's my understanding he's also a brake designer for Toyota in Japan. Now, I've never had the privilege of meeting him. I would love to meet him someday and thank him for introducing me to Origami Yoda and uh, for uh, giving Origami Yoda to the world. It's an amazing gift. I had seen some Star Wars origami before, or the concept of it. I think I had even, like a lot of people, tried to fight, make an X-Wing fighter before. But uh, his idea of creating this Origami Yoda is really incredible. By the way, uh, I was inspired to write an Origami Yoda book. He's now written his own book. He's got his own book of origami designs. Good Lord, people, look at his origami Pegasus here. This guy is incredible. Oh, my stars. <laughs> I can't wait to get this book. I didn't know it was out. It's been out for a couple years. I didn't know it was out. I can't wait to get a hold of it. It looks absolutely incredible. This guy is amazing. Let's take another look real quick at his instructions. This stuff is really difficult. So back in uh, 2005 or 2006, whenever it was, and I clicked on that link and looked at that PDF, I knew I was in over my head. I knew I wasn't going to be able to do it. So uh, I let, let's look at this is the finished product, if you follow those instructions. And uh, this is actually a photograph of what it looks like. This one was folded by one of the super folders, Origami Yoda 30. Unfortunately, I don't have one of these of my own to show you. I've never successfully folded the Kawahata Yoda. My Origami Yoda skills are not up to it. It is too difficult. You get into this part here with the hands. Uh-uh, uh-uh, I can't do that. And getting the face to turn out right, oh my gosh, it's just, it doesn't work for me, people. 
I can't do it. I'm sorry. So, I knew that. I knew that as soon as I saw it, I knew it wasn't going to happen. And so, I made something that looks like this. Really simple. Really, really simple. Uh, this is actually one of the very early Yodas. And uh, by the way, this is... Well, I'm jumping ahead of myself. You can see this is back so long ago. This is when I had my pen name, Sam Riddleberger. <laughs> this is a long time ago. Uh, and uh, But anyway, this is the original book I had, the uh, book design I had for the cover of Origami Yoda. In fact, at one time it was actually being called Origami Yoda, a love story. But my uh, incredible agent, Karen Wiseman, taught me out of calling it. Origami Yoda, a love story. She was worried a lot of you wouldn't read it if it was called Origami Yoda, a love story. And she was probably right. She's right about a lot of things. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. So I made this little Origami Yoda figure sitting at my kitchen counter. And when Cece got home, uh, I showed it to her. And here's the thing. Here's the life-changing moment. Because if this had just been a regular Origami Yoda... Or even if I had been able to fold this origami Yoda, that would have been maybe the end of it. But here's the deal. This origami Yoda fit on my finger like a finger puppet. And that's what gave me the idea to have a kid put her on his finger like a finger puppet and take it to school and give everybody advice with it. And that's where it all came from. That's the story right there. What if I had had the origami Yoda on my finger when I was in middle school, the complete series of disasters and mishaps, the three years of horror that was my own middle school experience. What if I'd had origami Yoda? What if all those lessons that I learned the hard way, what if origami Yoda had been there to give me those lessons the easy way, just backwards? Well, that's where the book came from. It all started way back here. 15 years ago at a website called Boing Boing, and I owe it all to this guy, Fumiyaki Kawahata, and his incredible origami Yoda. That's what led me to this. Hey, Superfolder Wyatt, thanks for your question. Thanks to everybody that's asked me that question over the years. Hey, do you have a question that you want to ask me? Drop by origamiyoda.com, submit it with uh, Talk to Tom as the title of your uh, submission, and uh, maybe I'll be able to give you an answer. Everybody, thanks a lot for tuning in, and may the Force be with you, always.